Hello everyone, this is Jim Delapine, and I'd like to do some tutorials for you using Photoshop CS6. I'm going to go through the steps of creating this extremely simple technique that allows text to be readable on a busy background without sacrificing your visual. So I'm going to bring up my palettes here and show you what we're talking about. It's simply a matter of applying some layer styles to a layer that we'll set up. I'm going to zoom in and show you what this looks like up close. This is what we have here. So it's a very interesting technique. And I've applied certain color overlays to this and some layer styles that helps this text in its readability and also allows the image to show through in the background. So we're going to start fresh. I'm going to delete my layers palette and start out with a simple text layer that I've created using Arial. We're going to scale this up and maximize this. I'm going to use my free transform tool holding down the shift and the alt key so it scales out from the center. That looks fine for the word country. And now I'm going to change the font for wine. So I'm going to choose a font that I selected before called Amiens. And I'm going to increase the scale of that by simply going to my character palette. And in the area that you would increase your point size, you can simply scrub that icon to the left or right to increase or decrease your font size. So I'm scrubbing, I'm clicking and dragging to the right, and I'm waiting till my font is flush left and right. And that looks fairly acceptable. We'll start with that. All right, so I'm going to just font down a little bit here and position it accordingly. All right, so that's what we have to work with. The color doesn't matter. We're simply using the text or the opaque pixels on that layer for a means to create a selection. So I'm going to control click on the text icon and hide that layer. I'm hiding the text layer and going to my background layer and hitting Control J. Control J will copy what's within these pixels from the background layer to the layer above. So Control J, and there we go. Let me hide my text palette here. It copied the pixel seamlessly to the layer above. And if I hide my background layer, you can see here what the effect is. Okay, so now it's a matter of double clicking on layer one and I'm going to apply some layer styles. I'm going to select Bevel and Emboss, and you can immediately see a result here. So with the Bevel and Emboss name active, I'm going to select Outer Bevel, and the bevel will now appear on the outside of the current selection of opaque pixels. And you will get this kind of effect using the Outer Bevel, and I'll leave all the default settings here, and I'm going to also select Stroke. Okay, with the stroke option selected, the default color for the stroke is black. I'm going to click on the color window and select white. Okay, I'll hit OK to that. And I'm going to decrease the size from 3 pixels to a 1 pixel thick stroke. And the next step is I want to create a drop shadow, which will help in its readability. I'll accept the default for that. And I'm also going to apply a color overlay. Now the default color for color overlay is red, which we can easily change. So I'm going to click on the color window here, and I'm going to select something in the purple category here. This kind of reminds me of a, a wine color to its extreme. So I'm going to hit OK. And now what we can do is a number of things. We can lower the opacity of this. Also, we can work with the blending mode and I can now hit my down arrow key to see what looks good and I'm going to click 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 that's a way of accessing different color modes and seeing what would work best for you I'm going to select color I'm going to hit OK alright so this is the result we have I'm not thrilled with this I'm going to go back in and this is the beauty of these layer styles they're considered non-destructive editing so you can go back in by double clicking on the FX icon and go back in and change your settings here so I go back to normal and lower the opacity to get a different kind of look this is a more subtle look and I'm going to accept that you can see here that the result it's very tasteful this would be, I think, quite appropriate for an annual report. But you also have many options in the Layer Styles dialog box to choose from, so I invite you to explore with that. I hope you got some value from this, and I'll speak to you guys. Take care.